Hey guys. Okay. Hey. Yo. Uh, welcome back to the Party Cast episode three. Today is November first, twenty seventeen, of course. And uh, um, yeah, it's been a great. Eh, it's been an actually okay day. Yeah. How how have you guys' days been? It's been pretty yeah, decent. It's been uh, just just kind of normal yeah. routine. I mean, it is a it's Wednesday, been, middle of yeah, the week. When, Wednesdays are probably like my hardest days because like. You're like really tired, and it's not like you're close to Thursday or Friday yet. Yeah. So you're just like, you're like, and Monday and Tuesday, you're kind of like dealing with it. Mondays and Wednesdays are definitely my hardest days. Of mm-hmm. week. But yeah, um, let's see. Uh, one of one of y'all talk about your, your Halloween experience yesterday. Oh yeah, Halloween happened just yesterday for us, but probably like a week ago from you guys, but. I actually went trick or treating this time. What is this audio? You did? Yeah, I went trick or treating uh, yesterday. That's cool. So did I. Wow. Nice. I got a bunch I, of freaking full size Hershey bars. It was great. Oh, that's cool. I wasn't planning on like actually trick or treating. I was planning on just walking around with everyone, but mm-hmm. I ended up going to every single house. So that was pretty good. I got some nice candy out of it. Cool. I, I was planning on vlogging mine, but I ran out of storage. <laughs> wow, I I finally put Actually, the banana costume to use. You you wore that? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I just stayed at my house and gave candy to kids while watching The Flash, of course. Yeah, speaking of which, I did not see yesterday's episode, so I need to watch that later. It's it's really good, actually, in my opinion. Hold on, I I'll be right back. I'm excited to for what comes in the future of that episode. Up off of that episode, I'm also very excited for um, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Um, I've like I've oh, seen yeah. all the trailers. They keep on releasing trailers, and they're not. What I like about it is they're not putting too much in the trailer, so so they get some secrets. And I'm re- I'm I'm excited to see it. I'm really excited about it. So it was like one of like the first ever like movies I actually like watched as a kid. <sighs> but yeah, I, for my Halloween, I kind of just stayed home the entire time. Gave out candy, a candy at the same time. My sister did go trick or treating. I just stood. I just stayed home with my dad, and we just gave candy out to the kids. Um, I actually knew some of the people from surprisingly like my old old school SES. They actually live in that neighborhood now. It's pretty weird. It's not. It's not too close, to, uh, what's it called, to uh, to uh, SES, like the labor room that I live in. I was very surprised by that. But yeah, uh, we talked. We hanged. It's pretty fun. Ah. Yeah. I wore my link. Tell me about Odyssey. Instagram. Uh, Odyssey. I love it. I'm playing it right now. Um, I kind of beaten Bowser already, even though it came out like on Friday. I beat it like three days ago. <laughs> so you beat the game already? Yeah, I'm just kind of like going around getting all the moons and purple coins and stuff. Ah, uh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Have I ever done that with the game where I've ever like gotten it and I completed the same day? Or not the same day, but like within a couple days. I think I did with one thing. I can't remember what it was though. Oh, I did that with a show once. I did that with Flash. First season a long time ago. And I'm back. Hey! Sorry about that. Uh, I had to go take out the trash because Jack was too lazy to. Oh, makes sense. So what did you guys talk about while I was gone? We were talking about Odyssey, Star Wars, and um, him completing it a couple days. Nice. So, is Odyssey fun, Ryan? Very. On uh, a rating of 1 to 10, how good is it? 10. Nice. Cool. 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 IGN, 10 out of 10. Did IGN actually rate it 10 out of 10? I'm pretty sure. Oh, makes sense. From what I've seen, it's a pretty fun game. 
Yeah, it's it looks pretty good. I've watched. I'm, I'm watching some YouTubers that play it. Some right mm -hmm. now. I don't know why. I'm just, I'll watch the YouTuber plays Fortnite and Mario Odyssey. So <laughs> nice. And I'm in a Fortnite right now. And I love that game. It's so much fun. I've always wanted to kind of have a game like that. And it's like almost better than PUBG because you actually have to collect like materials to build mm -hmm. stuff. So in my opinion, it's a mix between Minecraft and uh, PUBG. That's what I think. Yeah. I've seen the trailer for it like back whenever it first came out and it looked really fun. It was a cool idea. Yeah. I'm excited. And it, it's I can't wait for the full release. And... Uh, oh, I, th I thought the full game was already out. No, it comes out in 2018. Oh, so is this just the beta? Yeah, it's just the beta. Nice. That's why it's free. <laughs> I think you get to keep the game. I don't know. I don't know how it really works. I th no, you don't. That's not the full game. I'm pretty sure the full game comes out like so like soon. You have to buy like you have to actually buy the game. But yeah, it's still pretty cool though. So, you know, this podcast might not be uh, the best for all the stuff that might happen in November because, like, it's the first day it's, of November. We yeah. have no idea what's <laughs> going to happen. Who's excited for Thanksgiving? I have a story for y'all about um, a Thanksgiving that I'm going to have this year, and I'm scared for it. But go ahead. I'm going excited? back to New Mexico. Um, Woo! Without us? How could you? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I'm really doing anything for Thanksgiving except, like, seeing my family. I'm not either, but, bro, so we usually, like, have, like, separate Thanksgivings, like, one from my mom's side, one from my dad's side. Mm -hmm. This year, my dad, not my mom, my dad, most of the thought it would be a good idea to have both of the families come over to our house. And I know our house is, like, bigger than our old one, but it's not that big. That's, like, that, that amount of people is probably around, like, 40 to 50 people. Oh, dang. And I'm scared. I'm scared really bad. I told them, can, like, the upstairs be off limits? They don't touch any of my stuff. Because <laughs> I'm like, I really don't want this to be, I don't want my stuff to be touched. And they're like, uh. <laughs> but they said they, they might have to, like, the the, uh, the dads might go, like, upstairs and watch football. And I was like, all right, then we'll put a gate from the hallway to the upstairs living room. So yeah, they you'll just install another stuff. door for into the hallway. No, I'll just move it from that staircase to the other one. So I don't want anyone. And also we're going to have, there's going to be a lot of kids. I think there's going to be a total, I'm going to be one of the oldest kids. I think there's like two that are like older than me. But I'm going to be one of the oldest. And there are like three babies. There are like three people that are like the same age as my, no, five people that are the same age, same age as my sister. And they're all girls. So it's going to be really crazy. <laughs> Great. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the only boy in like my family of people. There's me and this other baby that's a boy, and that's it. And but he's you can't wait for triplets. him to grow up. Yeah, he's um he's ten years behind me. Boy, boy, holy, holy. You know, the only reason I really look forward to Thanksgiving is the food because that's always really good. <laughs> And then Christmas, you're like, they completely forget about the food that you have at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, There's no specific food you have for Christmas. It's just presents. Christmas is just, hey, there's a tree over there, and there's a bunch of presents under it. And uh, also, there's a fat guy in the chimney. Like yeah. Christmas, like... There's um, a fat guy stuck in the chimney. <laughs> oh, help! I like can't feel my legs! Are, ...are very weird, and I'm excited that I'm at the age I am right now. Because whenever you were younger and, and our family, you'd hand out the presents to other people. Now yeah. that I'm 14, I get the presents handed to me. So, like, <laughs> they give them to me, and I'm really excited about that. And I'm like, Slave. I just get to sit. I get to sit, and they get to just bring them to me. Because that's what I used to do. I used to just bring my pre I used to bring all the presents to other people. I gave them. I even gave myself the presents that were for me and put them oh, in thanks, my seat Zach. where, no I, was, problems, where I was sitting. And it, it it was it was just great. <laughs> the way that my family did it was because like we don't have a lot of family around us. It would just be like mm -hmm. me and Jack be the kids, so we would just go like on and off of handing out presents. 
<laughs> Jack would always be like, no, it's your turn. No. Actually, Jack would Jack would always fight me to be the one who, I want to be Santa. And whenever I was younger, I was like, no, I want to be uh, Santa. But now I'm like, yeah, you can be Santa. And I'd always be Santa because I was the oldest and I was the only guy too. So I'd always be Santa. Yeah. And they'd always my be my family, little elves. It was always just my parents who handed them out. Lucky you. There's a lot of old people, so they couldn't really get up. So we had to just, you know, but now I get to get the present back to me. But now my, my presents are really only just money at this point with my with my like grandparents and stuff like that, which is fine. I'm not I'm not complaining. <laughs> just, uh, no 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 no. I'll, I'll take the money still. <laughs> I mean, as you get older, you start buying like your own stuff, and you mm -hmm. know, you don't really want to well, wait for Christmas. Yeah. And I yes. found that there's not actually a lot of stuff that I really want anymore. I have like one pretty thing much everything. There's like one thing that I want. One thing that I want. Games, more Switch stuff, more Amiibo, and then also a drawing tablet. Because so the I one other game that's going to come up between now and Christmas for the Nintendo Switch? Um, I'm pretty sure there is one, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, I was making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was making a joke that like Nintendo Switch only comes up with like one game like every month. Oh yeah. And and so there's like only like so so many games you know to get. Actually, one game a month would still be pretty good. Well, I mean, uh, if you go to the Switch notifications every week, there is a uh, what's new in this week, and it, there's like at least five games every time they came out that week. I meant like the big games, you know. Like the big Odyssey, games, I mean, yeah, take Breath of the Wild. Time. Splatoon. Those, Arms those is out, right? Because those take longer to build. What else is coming out and for Nintendo Switch? FIFA. That's already out. Oh, it is? Oh. Mm -hmm. I have it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you bought a Nintendo um, Switch just for FIFA? No, I wouldn't do that. I don't want... It doesn't look that good on the Switch. Um, They, like, changed it. It's, like, not, like, what it is, like, on, like, Xbox and PlayStation. Well, I mean, yeah. Um, but what other games are actually coming out? I remember there was like one that was coming out before Christmas, and I can't remember which game it was. Or like maybe like at the same time as Christmas. I don't really remember much of what was coming out around there either. All I remember was uh, only focusing on Mario Odyssey. <laughs> mm. What I really want Sam to get for Christmas is Spider Man, the game for PlayStation. Oh, yeah. The... Man, that looks so good, and yeah. I really want to play it. It looks so good. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get it whenever it comes out. Well, like, not as soon as it comes out, but, you know. It, it looks... That'd be fun for a video, actually. If we can, looks... like, do multiplayer or something. I don't think it's multiplayer. We can each take turns, like, doing... I think there's, yeah. like, this endless mode you can do. Can I kind of want to start doing, doing uh, games for Party Squad, even if they're not, like, a three-player. Like, doing a series on Mario Odyssey or, like, Cuphead or something, where only, like, one person plays and we just, like, switch off, you know? Or Fortnite, we could each like, see who can last They're the longest, kinda like, you know? Yeah. Kind of like what we did with the uh, Biting of Isaac. Yeah. yeah. But it wouldn't be, like, categorized into a challenge or someone won. It would just be, like, us playing the game. There should be a little bit of a competition. There always has to be competition. <laughs> there could be competition in some videos. <sighs> well, actually, in Mario Odyssey, there are a couple of, like, timer challenges and stuff. So, like, we could, like, see who can... Uh, complete them the fastest or something for those that'd be cool but isn't one of them like a jump rope thing yeah that's in the metro kingdom but i was thinking more like the races oh like yeah the... yeah i was actually just watching the podcast that's why i actually got the idea of recording the podcast for this month <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. so how's school going sam it's going pretty good I thought you guys like kind of like stopped wearing uniforms because like the whole like last week and I remember seeing like a Monday or something like that you guys weren't really wearing any uniforms which I think it was because of the red whip ribbon week. Yeah, it was red ribbon ribbon week and then there was like a neon day week and like a um, pink out and we had that too at our school, but I didn't yeah. really dress up for anything. I just wore the normal clothes. <laughs> uh, Dude, it was scary though because like um, we had this like one. Uh, pep rally that was basically I posted on my snapchat and it was in the dark and it was like a light up it was like a 
it was like it was really cool. It was like those like strobe lights that like illuminate like white colors, you know. Mm-hmm. So all the trailers like wearing like white and stuff like that. The most scariest thing though is that this person threatened to do something during the pep rally. He threatened to do something kind of sinister. Um, so it kind of had us all kind of shook, and also it was dark, so we didn't know if it was gonna happen, and if it did, we didn't know if we were gonna be able to see it, and we weren't no. And everyone would just be like running out of the place at the same time and like falling over each other. And I was just like, luckily nothing happened. It would have oh, made for a great story for the podcast. Yeah. I'd rather not. <gasps> ooh, ooh, sorry. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I, I, I remembered a good story that I was saving just for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Are you ready for this? Okay. Nope. Tell me. Are you, are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Now. Yeah, okay. So, basically, uh, I went to Six Flags with my family and uh, the stewards, you know, Isaac and Anya, uh, and we were having a fun time uh, at Six Flags, right? So, was this during Fright Fest? Uh, it was before Fright Fest, because we left um, before it happened, because Ella and Isaac didn't want to stay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, uh, there was this one ride, it was like a watered log ride, and um, I think we really wanted to ride Isaac it. Felt- Isaac fell out of it, and so did No, Jack. hold on. Uh, okay. There's this log ride, um, and uh, the guys really wanted to ride it, but none of the girls did, so the girls left us to go to the log ride, but since it was like a wet ride, we left all of our phones with our mom, so we didn't have any phones. And you lost your phone. <laughs> okay, can I just say the story, please? Okay. Okay. So, uh, the line was really long, so we were waiting in the line for like a long time, and like, 20 minutes have passed and like we had barely moved so I was like you know what this is gonna take a really long time for a ride that is mediocre let's just bail so we we decided to do that so we decided to start walking around and try and find our parents because we didn't have our phone so we couldn't contact them that's a good story so hold on so we were walking around and we like couldn't find them it got to the point where like Isaac and Jack um they started panicking, and Isaac was like, let's just ask someone to use their phone. And I'm like, no, Isaac, no, no, stop. So then he he and Jack walked up to a booth and asked uh, if they had a phone. And the lady who was running it said, uh, no, we don't. But, you know, security has a phone. So they directed us oh, to go to security. God. So we walked to security, which was, like, behind a building or something. And, like, we walked behind it. And, like, it looked like a place where we weren't supposed to be. So we walked back out, and we were like, uh this doesn't look like it so some staff person walked out of it and um he saw that we were confused and kind of lost and he was like where are you guys trying to go and we go to security and he just points to the backstage and we're like okay so we just timidly walk in and like walk around and like the, yeah. it's these staff people uh all looking at us which makes us even more uh nervous <laughs> so we finally find security right so we go to the phone and um we finally get the phone right and uh Jack decides to uh, be the one to call mom, so he puts in her phone number, and um, as the no. no, as the phone is ringing, the security lady is like, "If she doesn't answer, then you need to leave a message uh, at where to meet you." So at that point, Jack was like, "Wait, no!" And he tries to hand the phone to me, and he's like, "Sam, you leave the message." And I'm like, "No, Jack, you just leave the message." And you're like, I'm not good at these things. And then uh, he oh he just God. he hangs up. So we decide yeah, to try again. Did. We try like three more times, but for some reason it's not working. Then I figure out that Jack's not putting it in right. Oh my god, Jack! (laughs) So, I decided to do it like all by myself, so I left the message and stuff, and so we were done, right? So, we walk out of security. Me, Isaac, and Jack are all like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Well, I was like that. Jack and Isaac were probably like, oh oh my god, ah!" Yeah, Jack has me dead. No, 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 you do. I'm like, (laughs) so. We, we walked to the front gate, because that's where we said to meet, and as we were walking there, we decided to loop back around to the water log ride just to see if they were there, and as we were walking, uh, yeah. we see our moms, Anya and Ella, walking in front of us, and I just goes, hey, wait, is, is that them? And I look over, and I'm like, oh my god, and I'm so mad, I decide to turn around and punch a wall, and there's someone behind me who was like, oh my god. But you punched the wall? Why did you punch a wall? Because I was mad, because we did all that just to find them as soon as we exited the security place. Oh, okay. And so we walked up to them, and uh, I- Isaac just walked up to his mom, and he's like, hey, and Isaac's mom was just like, hey, like, nothing happened. And <laughs> apparently they weren't even looking for us. We were all crazy for no reason. So um, 
we tell them all what happened. So mom gives us back our phones and she's like, okay, no more splitting up, guys. And then shortly after we left because of Fright Fest. So. <laughs> shortly after we got split up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, that, that's a good story. That was a good story. That, that was my Six Flags story. That was a good story. I remember as it was happening, I was like, wow, this would be a really good story for the podcast. No, 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 I need to focus. I have a, I have a good story mm-hmm. as well from... From... Um, I'm trying to remember. It's, it's at school. I just can't remember like how long ago it was that this happened. I'm also trying to remember when the... What the story, uh, okay, so um, he's probably... I'm gonna get mad at me for sharing this. Oh, I don't think it's, I don't think it watches our videos though. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter. So the other this is actually yesterday. I found out that this one of my good friends at the school asked out another one of my good friends to homecoming a couple weeks, uh, like a month ago. Mm. I just now found out, and, just, I was so <laughs> and the reason why I was so shocked is because they acted like they were just like friends and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I'm going to tell you the story of what happened when my friend asked my other friend to homecome. Okay. So, um, this was, I I wasn't at the school at this time. I was still at High Point, Mm -hmm. Sam. And um, (laughs) we were, uh, they were apparently going to meet in the library and they were going to basically have him stand there with the poster that he made Mm -hmm. and have his three friends with like poster items, which I'll, 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 It'll make sense in, in a minute. Okay. Um, the poster said a bunch of different things on it. It said, like, cheesy. Yeah, this sounds kind of cheesy. And he had Cheez-Its, someone carrying, someone holding the Cheez-Its. God. And then he also said sketchy. I can't remember if they actually had anything that represented the sketchy. But then he said talkies for some reason. Can I talkie you to uh, homecoming? And it had, he had a bag of talkies. Uh-huh. So the person got the girl to come not the person, the uh, like another girl that was helping him out got the girl into the library. And this is when it starts getting really good. Like oh, this. boy. We're getting anyway, into so she, she said she told me she actually wasn't going to go because she had to go like, to class. But she was like, eh, might as well. I don't have anything to do today in class. So she went down there. And they were they were getting ready and everything like that. And she got there. And he said like the whole he, – he read the poster and stuff like that. And she said – <laughs> she said oh. the best part about this whole story though is that she actually took the cheese its and the talkies uh-huh. even though she said no she said and no I, yeah she said no <laughs> <laughs> she took the stuff though that came with like the like saying yes but she like yeah. um no but thanks for the food yeah and then so <laughs> later apparently that day he was walking from soccer and she was there with the cheese. It's eating them. <laughs> and that same day, right in front of his eyes, she got asked to homecoming, and she said yes. <laughs> and she had the cheese. It's in her hand at that same exact moment, and he was watching it from like distance. <laughs> so now every time I see him, I just read off the post poster says, and he gets so mad at me. But it's oh God, it made me laugh so hard. Yeah, it's making oh. us laugh, but it could, it that might have been like devastating for him. You like make fun of him, just you're like <laughs> Jesus, and he goes home and cries. <laughs> <laughs> the way she delivered it to us in the story itself was hilarious. Like. She made everything sound like so kind of serious, but in the real life, it was just hilarious. And yeah, that's I, that's my story. I can imagine like he's talking to her, and some guy walks up and like completely interrupts their conversation. And he's like, "Hey, you want to go to homecoming?" And she's like, "Yeah, sure." And he's like, uh, uh, "What? No!" <laughs> oh my god, it was so great though. But they're still <laughs> friends now, so we're all good. <laughs> it's all fine. And I was just kind of shocked because it didn't look like they were like a thing at all so I was kind of confused and then I found out that she said no <laughs> so yeah. it kind of all made sense so I was like oh okay God. you wanted to be more than friends and you didn't <laughs> dun 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 he ended up not going to homecoming <laughs> uh, but yeah that's that's my story 
Okay, so I have another kind of thing. Um, Ooh, a thing. <laughs> uh, like a week ago or so, I had this like awesome dream. It's like one of the coolest dreams I've had in a while. I have those. And it, like, uh, I woke up feeling happy from it. That's good. I'm hyping it up a little bit too much, but it was cool for me. So basically, I uh, I get one million subscribers. No, <laughs> no but um, uh, uh, my hands are all sweaty. Hey, like me. Anyways, um, um man, I lo- completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so it the dream was happening as I was like grown up as like an adult, as like all three of us were, and we had like, like- we were, had moved to LA, right? Mm-hmm, and so mm-hmm, we were like mm-hmm, chilling there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> God. And so, um, <laughs> and so, you know, the Party Squad channel was still a thing. We were just, we were still recording stuff, right? Like making videos. How many subs? And I apl- huh? How many subs? I don't know. 60. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we had more than that. But, um, I had applied for a job, uh, at the Game Grumps office to be an, an, an editor. And, uh, so, uh, like, in the dream, a few days later, I, uh, landed an interview with them. And so I got interviewed by, like, Aaron and Dan, and I got the job of being a Game Grumps editor, which is cool all by itself, because I get to edit the Game Grumps videos and, like, see all the stuff. And, like, I get to... Hmm? You bastard. You (laughs) left us. No, hold on. I'm getting to a good part, okay? And so I, <laughs> and so I, I'd even maybe be a guest on the show. But one of the one of the coolest parts of it was they let they let us use their recording studio to record for the party squad. Oh, so that's cool. So we had that studio to record like videos for the party squad, and it was so fun. I remember feeling like so happy and so fun. Like that that's awesome. And then I woke up, which kind of ruined my day. Yeah. You just kind of stopped talking. <laughs> oh, wait. What? What did I leave off? You left like you, it just made me feel so happy, and then just. Okay. Yeah, that's basically the end. All right. It was. Man, it makes me kind of sad. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it'd be so what? cool to like. Oh. Yeah. I, I think it would be cool to be, one, a Game Grumps editor, and two, to have the Game Grumps studio to record. That would be cool. My, my parents have a little bit of an idea of something they want to do in two years. But I won't speak of it right now. Not in the podcast. We can't make it today. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, what are you guys doing right now? Playing FIFA. Recording a podcast. With <laughs> Sam and Ryan. <laughs> 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 I was from like the last video, so. Oh, was it? Oh. Yeah. I'm reusing old jokes. Oh no. You said you said recording a podcast with Zach and Rob. Oh. That's what. That's why I was like. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's okay to use to reuse old material every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How um, much is a plane ticket cost? I'm curious. <laughs> Bless you. I'm, I'm actually curious how much a plane ticket costs. Oh, okay. Bless you. <laughs> I think he's coughing, but okay. Oh. I'm curious how much a plane ticket costs to uh, Florida. Uh, I don't know, actually. I should look that up, because I'm kind of curious. For no reason at all. Oh, no. Just because I'm curious. <laughs> just curious. I'm just curious, okay? Shut up. I'm just curious to Florida specifically. Mm. Yes. Why Fanta? You're making me cough. Sorry, I'll stop. Why would you blame Fanta for that, Ryan? That's your own problem. Fanta had nothing to do with it. Fanta can never be bad. You choke. Well, that sounds like a you problem and not a Fanta problem. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, I think I'm good. (laughs) Yeah. Fanta's the best. It is. What's you guys' favorite Fanta you flavors? I have to tell you guys. Sorry. Everyone <laughs> loves the grape. Wait, why is that crying? What, what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> I, I asked what flavor, and Ryan goes, "Everyone loves grape," and I hear Zach crying in the background. 
My parents want to move up to Florida in two years. No! I <laughs> know, that's why I didn't want to say anything. No. You know, at first I was like, oh, I don't want to leave. And then I thought about it and I was like, all right, I'm at some fun. And I was like, oh, shoot, what about the party squad? <laughs> what about Sam and Ryan? No. And I so I, I, I'm wondering how much a plane ticket cost to Florida. <laughs> you guys can come visit me every, or I can come visit you every summer. Probably be me visiting y'all. But I kind of want you guys to see my new place. And it could be like a back and forth thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look up how much a plane ticket. Plane ticket. Or you could drive. It doesn't take that long to drive. It's yeah. the same exact. It'd probably be cheaper to drive. Yeah, the last time and the only time that I went there, uh, we drove. So. It I cost... think I've been there once when I was little and I'm pretty sure we drove. $325. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. I thought it'd be like up in the 500s or something. So yeah, they're, they're, the plan is, this is what they want to do. We're going to go, we're going to, you know, Disney World, of course, in January. I'm going to celebrate my birthday there. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, I'm nice. I've never celebrated my birthday there. And they want to go look at this neighborhood that's called Celebration. It's a Disney neighborhood. Is it, um, so are you literally just moving into like a Disney themed neighborhood? Mm hmm. I think, mm -hmm. you, I think your, your family's a little obsessed. No, my mom and dad are obsessed. <laughs> You're like, if I had a choice, I would move into the Overwatch neighborhood next door. You know how there's like a, uh, like, um, like the, some neighborhoods have like schools inside of them? Yeah. This Celebration neighborhood has a high school called Celebration. Is that where you'd be going? Yes. I'd be going to a Disney high school. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. So like, all of that, I really, I'm kind of upset. Not so much the neighborhood, but the school I'm really kind of upset about. And I'm honestly like... Let me think about it. Maybe if, 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 if I can, like, get all of my credits done before then, <laughs> I don't have to go to school. <laughs> go to well, good luck with that. Yeah, thanks, man. <clears throat> Dude, I bet in that school, it would there would only be, like, animators and actors. Yeah, what I'm thinking also is that, like... like the, school's the school's mascot is, I hope you achieve all your dreams. It's I bet the school's mascot like, is Mickey Mouse. It's Mickey, yeah, I bet it's Mickey Mouse. We're the Mickeys. God. <laughs> not the Bobcats, not the Eagles. You wouldn't even have football games. You just have um, like dance-offs. No, you would have trivia of Disney. Yeah, movie nights. You could nights. only win. You could have movie nights. <laughs> Actually, it's a bad thing. But yeah, it is Florida. Who can watch the most is, Disney movies? There are some also highs to it. It's also a place I wanted to go to school, mm -hmm. and. It has a beach, and I love beaches, and it's a lot popular for soccer. I know that. Um, the weather there is like, eh, it's like Texas. It changes every day. Um, you never really know what's going to be. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. What, it, they said it's just an idea. They don't even know to do it. It better you know, just be an idea. I mean, when, they said we're moving there no matter what after I finish high school, but that's it. Okay, well, after you finish high school, then we can drive, so that won't be that bad, you know? You can drive, too, at that point, too. Yeah, I know. So, actually, yeah, I'll be able to drive, like, next year, yeah. so I will, we'll be I able will to make the most of our time. I'll be able to drive, too, whenever I move to Florida. If I move, like, in two years, I'll be able to drive, too. Yeah. If you had to move somewhere just for the weather, where would you go? California. Yeah, I'd say California. Yeah. Honestly, you guys are probably going to find this weird along with anyone who's watching, but Arizona. Really? The, the hot? I freaking you want love the scorching hot? Yes, I love the heat. Really? You won't yes. be saying that once you live there for a week. Like, Hell, I, I, I hear all this stuff about, like, you have to constantly, like, be inside to have the AC running or else you're going to get heat stroke, and I'm like, I want heat stroke. <laughs> God. <laughs> I want to experience it. Honestly, I love the cold weather, and that's why I like. I really like Colorado and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm um, not a fan of the cold at all. I love the cold, but I like California too because it's not too hot, but it's not that cold either. It's like a perfect. It's like oh, in shoot. at least every day, it's the 70s and 80s, even like in like the winter. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt this conversation, but I think we'll have to wrap it up here. No, you can't stop. No. What has it been an hour already? We don't do these for an hour. <laughs> Has it been 45 minutes already? And also, can we do an hour episode? You ruined him. You're just like, oh. We'll do an hour episode for like episode five or something. But 
I also we'll actually have to go. So uh, we have to wrap this up. So we Bye, hope guys. you enjoyed this podcast episode. Uh, stay tuned for episode four coming out next month, as always. And you should go December. check out our last okay. our last episode. Yeah, it'll be Christmas themed. So yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah.